Hi, Greg. Well, really what sounded the siren, so to speak, is this daily attendance roster that we attained today from City Hall, and it shows 63 hours of overtime that will be paid out to officers who had to pick up the slack from the ones that did not show up for work on opening day up at the track. Uh, that's not going to change because it is spelled out in a contract that that overtime money should be allotted to officers who work for others when they are not around, and that will be honored. But that contract may have to change in light of all this personal time. They are entitled to them. If we can fill them on overtime, we have to, and we will continue to do so. Police officers not only enforce the law, but they must follow it too. And Spa City Police Chief Gregory Veach must allow his officers personal time according to a contract, even if it's when throngs of people pony up to Saratoga for opening day. But I think that we have a responsibility in Saratoga Springs to work those days that require extra police officers. Uh, we all know when they are. We know when they're coming. The chief knows there is not a bottomless pit of money to cover overtime costs for officers working to make up the difference, even if a contract permits it, as long as officers follow procedure requesting personal days. These did. Does the contract need to be changed considering what happened this time? Um, I think that the fire chief and the police chief would like to have the contract uh, looked at and, and possibly make some alterations to the contract to take care of problems uh, in the future. Public Safety Commissioner Chris Matisson doesn't have much say in negotiations, but would like to, considering how long this contract provision has been in place, when staffing levels on the force were higher. I think that there, I think there are reasonable compromises that can be made here. The chief still trusts his staff and will follow a contract and has no information that opening day was a coordinated free day. Nobody is saying that because this happened that, that police officers are not dedicated to their duties. I mean, we all want to have time off in the summer just like everyone else. And I think that from time to time these things are going to happen. We're going to get into these difficult situations where we have fewer numbers of officers coming to work than we need. But I think we just need to work through that and just be mindful that it is our, our responsibility. But it does beg the question of whether or not this was truly something that was planned or not. The chief has no reason to believe that it was. But as you know, Saratoga uh, opening day up at the track is a big day here for a lot of people who live here and a lot of visitors who come on this town as well uh, and especially linger into the night. And the night shift is really the one that's in question here uh, with the officers that were or were not working. The chief does say in the meantime that he'll have to look at staffing levels on other days moving forward. However, uh, one important thing to note, though, is that uh, some of the people we talked to today had varying opinions around town, and some say if this happened on another day that wasn't opening day, might not have been an issue at all, Greg. And, Matt, I'm sure some people are wondering what's the procedure for taking those personal days. Well, you have to call in uh, 72 hours ahead of time. If you do that and overtime can be granted, you should, according to this contract in place, be given that personal day. Again, if you call in 72 hours uh, and, and it can be covered, you should be covered as well. And in this case, uh, all the people who weren't here followed the procedure that they should, according to the police department. All right. Matt Markham reporting live from Saratoga Springs. Thanks a lot, Matt.